In this video, we're continuing our bond pricing problems with the big four formulas. We're going to look at problem 7.12 from Kellison. We'll be finding the price of a bond if it is known how much the price increases when the term is doubled. Just like in the last video, it's going to turn out to be most useful to use the base amount formula. How do you know that? Well, it's an annual bond and is unspecified, $1,000 par value. It matures at par, that's the redemption value. The coupon rate is 12% convertible semi-annually. It is bought at a price to yield 10% convertible semi-annually. If the term of the bond is doubled to 2N years, meaning the number of coupon payments increases from 2N to 4N, the price will increase by $50. Find the price of the original N-year bond. So we don't know N, but we do know how the price changes as the number of coupon payments increases from 2N to 4N, it might be nice to use a formula that does not involve AN, the present value of an annuity immediate. There are two such formulas. They would be the base amount formula and Makeham's formula. The base amount formula has V to the N in it, Though, since n is the number of years here, let's go ahead and how, look, write out how this would look in this context. For n years, meaning 2n coupon payments, 2n half years, we could write the base amount formula as the price would be g, the base amount, plus the product of c minus g, where c is the redemption value, times v to the 2n here, because again, 2n is going to be the number of coupon payments, the number of half years. The coupon rate is 6% per half year, and the yield is going to be 5% per half year. I want to use 2n in this case. It involves g, the base amount, where g times j, the semi-annual yield rate, is equal to f times r, the face value or power value, which is 1,000 times the semi-annual coupon rate. I can solve this for G. I can plug in the numbers. F is $1,000. R is 0 0.06. J is 0 0.05. This will simplify to $1,200 for the base amount. We know C as well. That's 1,000 since it's maturing at par. We can pretty easily use this formula and maybe use the fact that we've got the two bonds here to use the formula again for the second bond and ultimately perhaps solve for v to the 2n to help us finish the problem. You know, again, Makeham's formula also does not involve a n, but this seems to be the most handy based on wanting to solve for v to the 2n to help us solve the problem. So let's plug in what we know then for these two bonds. We've got the first bond, P1. Well, both bonds, P1 and P2, have a base amount of 1,200. C in both cases is 1,000. The difference is with the first bond, the original bond, we have n years, so 2n periods, and we have a v to the 2n here. And with the second bond, we have 2n years. We are doubling the term and 4n coupon payments. So I'd have a V to the 4N right here. I could put a subscript of 0 0.05, the yield rate, but I don't really need to. I'm going to solve for V to the 2N to help me finish it. Let's simplify this a tiny bit. This would be 1,200 minus 200 V to the 2N. This would be 1,200 minus 200 V to the 4N. And don't forget, we also know that if the bond term is doubled, the price P2 of the new bond will increase from P1 by $50. This equals P1 plus 50. It equals 1,250 minus 200 V to the 2N. That's what this thing also equals. All right, so that gives us really a quadratic equation in the quantity V to the 2N that we can either factor or use the quadratic formula for to solve. Simplifying a bit, we can write this as, well, this 1,200 here can cancel completely. We can write negative 200 V to the 4N 
equals 50, subtracting 1200 there, minus 200 b to the 2n. Let's give it, get everything on the right side and divide everything by 50. Uh, this 200 divided by 50 is going to be 4. We'll have a 4v to the 4n minus 4v to the 2n, and then 50 divided by 50 is plus 1. You could use the quadratic formula, but this is pretty easily factorable. It's actually a perfect square. It's 2 times v to the 2n minus 1 quantity squared. Some people can see that quickly, and some people have trouble seeing that quickly. If you have trouble seeing that quickly, then just go ahead and default to the quadratic formula. v to the 2n ultimately must be 1 half. And now we can pretty quickly solve the problem. We want to find the price of the original bond. We want to find P1. So substitute that back up into here. P1 will be 1,200 minus 200 times 1 half, 1,200 minus 100, $1,100 is the price of the original bond that is answering the question, finding the price of the n-year bond. So again, I hope it's pretty clear in looking this over that um, the base amount formula is probably the best way to go. You could try the other formulas and see that you get the same thing and probably they are not quite as quick.